So rheumatoid arthritis is a progressive disease. It's a systemic disease. It can involve various organ systems. Uh, and if you don't treat it appropriately and adequately, uh, disability can occur, mortality can occur, morbid morbidity can occur, uh, a whole host of other organ systems can start to break down, uh, vasculitis can start to ap appear, um, uh, optic uh, problems with, such as iritis uh, can occur as well, compromising vision, uh, various structural changes, uh, not just in the hands but also in the feet and the knees and the shoulders, etc., can occur as well. And so our goal is to limit disability but I think we've taken it a step uh, above, and now our goal is to potentially cure this disease. So typically when treating RA, uh, there's a window of opportunity to inhibit disease uh, and to do so effectively. A window of opportunity uh, to prevent radiographic progression, and the sooner the better, and the more aggressive the better. And so I've taken the stance that upon diagnosis, we'll treat patients with methotrexate and shortly thereafter with biologic therapy within the first three months. Uh, that combination has been very effective. In some cases, I've managed to uh, in inhibit the disease so much that over the course of a few years later, I'm able to taper down the medication, uh, the methotrexate dose, maybe take it off altogether, utilizing monotherapy uh, in some cases. Um, in a very small number of cases, uh, I've been able to discontinue therapy altogether and monitor them. Uh, again, that is the hope of all rheumatologists to find some sort of a cure and it is my firm belief as well as many of my colleagues that the earlier and more aggressive we are in treatment then the more potentially uh, successful we'll become in doing so.